Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, I'm glad. I was getting nervous. Thought you might have had some first order entanglements. Everything all right? <laughs> Good. Welcome, my friends, to Sarvi's workshop. Oh, we're just so excited you all found us. These are the gatherers that will be assisting you, and you may call me Kenbe. So please take a quick look around. I know. I know what you're thinking. But all this looks like just a lot of old junk. Let me assure you of something. Some of this is new junk. <laughs> <laughs> but we humbly call ourselves the gatherers. Because we search the galaxy for ancient relics in forgotten places. Abandoned outposts. Battle-ravaged systems. What we find, we bring here to the workshop. So where a stormtrooper might just seek worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. For in these times, preserving our past may just ensure our future. Oh, I, I trust you've all heard the legends of Luke Skywalker. Yes, good. We hear there is another, a new Jedi. You know her name? Ray. Yes, Ray. indeed, Ray. A scrapper just like us. And what Ray is now leading? Well. That is the spark of hope that we've been waiting for for so long. And that is why you are here, to look ahead and to build this. A lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is as elegant as it is enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The saber then becomes a reflection of its builder with the force flowing between them. And today you will feel that connection. So enough talk. <laughs> Let's begin with perhaps the most important element of a lightsaber, the Kyber crystal. Able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it some say the kyber crystal is the heart of a lightsaber. The color of the crystal determines the color of the saber's blade. We've seen these in some of the greatest Jedi legends in history. The blue crystal. Favored by great Jedi master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker and Rey. Green. Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. Violet, a beautiful and very rare crystal, favored by the powerful Jedi Master, Mace Windu. And because there must be balance, red. Often called the Crystal of Power, this was favored by Darth Maul. Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But all these are stories of the past. We are here for you. Yes, young man. Isn't there a yellow one? Doc Ondar has yellow ones. Doc gets his from slightly less reputable sources than us. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully one of these will choose you. Let's find out. Builders, close your eyes. Indulge me, close your eyes and picture one of those four kyber crystals in your mind. What color calls to you? Remember, it is likely the crystal is choosing you. Good, open your eyes. And select your kyber crystal. Place those crystals into the green crystal holders in front of you. That will look perfect, for it's now time to begin the construction of our hilts. The gatherers will place before you now the selection you previously made, and from 
there, you can choose the precise components that will comprise your unique lightsaber. The hilt is the foundation of the saber, your center of control, and the part that keeps your hands from being disintegrated. So you'll see in the box first the chassis. On the other side of the tray, these are the activation plates. We'll then select two of the four grips before affixing a blade emitter, then a pommel cap. Building a lightsaber is a personal journey. The gatherers and I are here to guide you through every part of the process. So builders, let me ask you, are you ready? Yes. yes. Then let's build. Oh, yes! That's tremendous! How does that feel? It looks great. I say the perfect lightsaber of a Jedi. 
Thank you. 